You've got land or property to sell? That's fantastic. You want to find a cash buyer, but how? Don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to make a list of cash buyers and fast. Hi, I am Mori. With over 25 years of experience and over 1,500 real estate transactions under my belt, my team develops tools for wholesalers, realtors, and investors to make their lives easier. One great benefit of having a ready-to-use database of potential cash buyer investors is that it allows you to wholesale more properties faster and expect a better profit margin for your real estate business. You also want to know who moves the market in your area and try to think of other investors not as competition, but as part of your network. To build this list, some wholesalers would even place an ad on Craigslist or newspapers with titles such as Real Estate Investor Wanted or Desperate Seller Need to Sell Property Fast and on and on. But all these take time, especially on Craigslist. You can face your ad becoming a ghost ad, which means it shows up in your account, but not on other people's account. But with all this technology today, we can bypass all these pitfalls. I have two solutions for you. Here is the first one. And on the next video, I'll give you two other ways to do this. Let's say you have a property on the contract in Ontario, California, and you need to wholesale it fast. Go to redfin.com. And on redfin.com, on the top left corner, type in Ontario, California. Okay. On the right side, we have a list of uh, selections. What we want to select here is sold in the past six months. Okay, that gives us plenty of properties to select. 603 properties. Now, watch the beauty of this. We're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom of the last property with a picture. Then comes the link called Download All. Notice how I got there, okay? So, Download All. This list is now downloaded into my computer. And if I open the file, you can see what information we got from Redfin. Great. So Redfin gave us the property detail information and the link for Redfin and all that, but there is no ownership information. Okay? No problem. Now, take this list to your Lead Cruncher account and go to the tab called Owner Verifier. Under the Owner Verifier, drag and drop that file from Redfin to the box on the right side, this one. Now, we want to map four columns. We want to map the address, city, state, and zip. Okay, notice there is a selection here for owner name, but we do not have an owner name. So what would have happened if we had the owner name? Then the system not only would verify the ownership information, would even separate the file into four categories saying, this property is sold, this is not sold, this is verified, the ownership is still in place and all that. So now all we have to do is click upload. Then we just have to wait. Now, at this point, Leaf Cruncher is uh, processing the property records and validating the address by post office to see if the address is valid and corrects the address. Then it will take that data behind the scene, go to assessor's data, this data comes from over 3,000 assessor's offices. There is 148 million records. Gets updated daily. So literally, if you own real estate properties, every one of them here, your house is here, your parents, your relatives, everybody's property here. Now, what takes place here is amazing. Amazing. This is all cloud power technology from Amazon. Okay. Now, let's wait for our file to be ready. So we go to Owner Verifier under files and this file is ready we can export it so total records were 350 after post office validation and assessor data validation and appending to the records we have 285 records that's pretty good so quickly i want to tell you what we did we wanted to know in this area which one of these properties have been sold by an investor to be able to contact them see if they want to buy another property like it okay let's go back to lead cruncher Click on download and we're going to download all records is valid verified data. I will open this file for you and explain it to you. Okay. Let's put this file here. Okay. So now we have this file. Notice our data did not come with ownership information. Now we have the ownership information. I'm going to show you an Excel trick. Okay. Look friend on the top left corner, you can click to highlight the entire 
Excel sheet, or you can click Control A, Control Q, and it will highlight all your records. Okay, so here we are, and we're gonna go to Data, and then we're gonna select and filter. Now we're gonna go to the ownership information. Think about it. Most investors hold a property in an LLC, right? These are the investors you want to contact them right here, right there. So now we can uh, we can contact this individual, ask to see if they want to buy another property like the one we have. Okay. All right. If you found this video useful, you'll find more content like it on my channel. We hear this from people all the time, but those little mouse clicks can really go a long way to help me in the algorithm. So please click the little thumb guy. Please subscribe and help yourself with all my tools linked in the description. These are tools me and my teams have developed over the years, tools I wish I had when I started in real estate. Thanks for watching and have a great day.